Welcome to Solon's customer video series. The focus of this video is bladder pump operation. Initially, when the bladder pump is placed at depth in the well, hydrostatic pressure fills the bladder and the sample line to static water level. To start, when setting up a bladder pump with a Solon's wellhead, First, connect the air source supply line to the control unit. Then, connect the drive line from the control unit to the fitting on the wellhead. The sample line connects to the other fitting on the wellhead. The control unit is preset with drive and vent times. When the bladder pump assembly is submerged, water from the formation slowly flows through the screen inlet at the bottom of the pump, into the bladder and up the sample line. The control unit at surface starts with a drive cycle, applying pressure to the system through the drive line. The drive gas closes the bottom check ball. As you can see, the orange arrows represent the drive gas closing the bottom check ball. At the same time, the gas pressure squeezes the bladder forcing the water from the bladder up the sample line. As you can see, the drive gas never contacts the sample water. The bladder is slowly and steadily compressed, ensuring an undisturbed sample. When the electronic control unit at surface switches to vent, the drive gas is vented out of the drive line at the wellhead. During the vent cycle, the top check ball seals the sample water in the sample line, preventing the sample water from entering the pump. You can see the water in the sample line sealing the top check ball. Hydrostatic pressure refills the bladder as the bottom check ball has been released. New formation water slowly enters the pump through the filter inlet. The electronic control unit automatically repeats the drive and vent cycles, eventually bringing the sample water to surface. Let's watch the electronic control unit run for a few dry vent cycles at the low flow preset. In this example, with a drive time of 50 seconds, the drive gas closes the bottom check ball and the bladder slowly compresses, sending water from the bladder up the sample line. During the vent period of 25 seconds, the drive gas in the drive line immediately vents out at the wellhead. The top check ball closes and new formation water enters the pump refilling the bladder. Let's just watch a few more cycles to reinforce the operating principle. During the drive cycle, the bottom check ball closes and the bladder is compressed, sending water up the sample line. Finally, one more vent cycle. The top check ball seals the sample line and the water refills the bladder. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or comments.